realized how badly I fucked up with the decorations on the last one. And for that, I am so very sorry. I I realized I was cutting a lot of like attack boosts and peak performance out and they're just in the damage could have been better. I I literally just got that longsword and made that build like in the same night. I just made that longsword and build in the same night. Uh like the second night Fatalis released. So I was kinda like stumbling. I didn't do any testing and after doing testing I realized that true razor sharps true razor sharp is just possibly just better. It's just better to run true razor sharp with four piece Fatalis and uh three piece Teo. Because you also get that extra oh off the bat. Anyways, so this is the build. Of course, we're using the Fatalis Zagus Span on the Fatalis Longsword, uh, because highest raw in the game, purple sharpness. Uh, you already know what it is. We have five mighty protection rules just so we can get maximum might level five. Obviously, maximum might level five gives you 40% stamina as the gauge is full, which helps us get into positive affinity. We have two expert jewel plus fours, one from the start of the game and one from the Latrion, uh, a Latrion event. Also, I have another one just by grinding. So you, ha you mix this with the Dragon Barbs Alpha Plus, which already gives you three crit eye for level seven crit eye. And then you have 50%, you have 50% affinity i uh, got not know why i could not think of the word uh then you already have inbuilt level three weakness exploit just by using dragon hide dragon claws and dragon barbs so you end up getting 50 or 100 percent affinity off of tenderize and that's why where this shaver jewel comes in so you can instant one tenderize we have an attack jewel level four just so we can get a little bit more attack in we just kept it. We just kept it as attack level five boost. We have Colby Teroff's Wrath Alpha Plus just so we could get a level of peak performance and two levels of critical boost. We put two Fallish Jewel Dragon Barbs Alpha Plus and a critical jewel uh, for the last level of critical boost three and Colby Teroff's Wrath Alpha Plus just so we can add a little bit more attack. We have Challenger Jarm five and a Challenger. Or just for agitator get even more raw and we just have the rest of the attack jewels in the mantles because why not so we can have attack level seven all in all uh my we also use dragon claws alpha plus just so we can have handicraft level three obviously obviously if you had two handicraft level fours just go into dragon claws beta plus so you can have at least an extra level. You just drop a level of attack down to attack four, but you have handicraft four due to having that. And honestly, if you're going to use this build, handicraft is going to be a necessity since you don't have a lot of hits with purple. I would prefer it to be handicraft level four at least. Well, level three will do. Uh, I really am a big fan of the Clutch Claw boost. It re also, it really sucks that we have Evade Window 2. I would much prefer Evade Window 5. Obviously, obviously, you can play around with a lot of decos and up to your per personal preference. If you want to drop peak performance just for more handicraft, or if you want to drop peak performance and shaver just for Evade Window, that's your prerogative. So you do you. Uh, this uh, this just gives me basically almost all the attack, like just a lot of raw, which the last build, which was the Teostra three piece and two piece Fatalis build, didn't really have, and I noticed it, and I'm very sorry. I just kind of rushed that out. I was just really excited. That's it. Anyways, so I'll just showcase some damage. Keep in mind, I haven't eaten for any attack up larges. I haven't eaten for any attack up larges from uh, the canteen. I haven't taken mega deep drugs. This is literally 
AG7. Well, obviously not AG7 proc, but this is attack boost level 7 and peak performance 3 at least. Accompanied by crit boost level 3. And we get 100% affinity flex level 3. And with maximum might 5 and crit I level 7. I'm doing 203 helms like per tick on helm system. And it's just a monster. It's a beast. Obviously, the power can go way up hot play, like, just way higher due to just agitator proc. And all in all, it's just a really it's just a really fun build. Uh true crit, like true razor sharp makes it to where you don't have to uh you don't have to run master's touch anymore. But in order like I said, in order for that to like just work at its best, I suggest having alpha fan braces just for you know the extra the extra craft the inbuilt handcraft I can so you don't have to build into that so it allows you to build attack power. Anyways, uh hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the build. Uh sorry that I kinda rushed the other one. Hopefully this much better than the other build anyways with all that being said peace out all my fellow weebs and wee bets